My name is Melissa Maker. I'm an accidental cleaning expert and I'm here to welcome you to the Clean My Space channel. Today, we are talking about disgusting bathroom exhaust fan covers. Now that might not sound exciting, but even in the most beautiful of bathrooms, the loveliest of latrines, if you look up, there's like, a 95% chance this is gonna be caked in dust. And what that leads to is a noisy, inefficient fan that will eventually have its motor burnt out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean it. It takes literally three minutes. It is way easier than you could imagine. And we're gonna do this together. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and remember to stick around to the end of this video where I'm gonna tell you the optimal time you should be leaving your bathroom fan on for after a shower. We'll start by removing the fan cover. So just understand the anatomy. It doesn't really have any grips on it. You're just gonna grab either side and give it a light pull. You'll notice that it pulls down, but it has a bit of give. And that's because the fan cover has these metal clips. So what you wanna do is on one side, stick your hands in and just release the metal clips. And then on the other side, stick your hand in the other way and do the exact same thing. They sort of press in and release. Now I'm gonna take a nylon bristle dish brush. I'm going to fill the tube with about two parts vinegar to one part dish soap, and that's the solution I'm gonna use to lift off this caked on dust. Now the reason I'm picking this type of bristle instead of a cleaning toothbrush is because it's a little longer and it's a little sturdier than a toothbrush, so it's gonna save me time on scrubbing. You're gonna start by just scrubbing. You wanna scrub the outside, you wanna scrub the inside, making sure that you get into those little nooks and crannies and crevices. When you're done, give it a good rinse. And remember, because your fan is plugged into an electrical source, you don't wanna put it back right away. Just give it a couple of minutes or even a couple of hours to fully dry before you put it back. Now you might've looked at what I just did and thought it was a little extra because you can just take a vacuum with a brush attachment and go to town. But the truth is dust like this is sticky. It's been mixed in with moisture and it really adheres to a surface, which is why I took that extra step and I removed the fan cover and cleaned it the way I did. Now, one of the reasons that it is so important to maintain your fan, aside from prolonging its life so you don't have to replace it as frequently, is to reduce the noise. And let's talk about kind of what goes on behind the scenes. Your fan's job is to suck moisture and dust and whatever else out of your bathroom so that it is not a humid environment in here and you don't get mold and mildew and it also helps to suck out and remove odors. But over time, that fan cover that we just cleaned gets caked with dust. So it blocks the airflow. And then what happens is the motor has to work harder to do its job. Well, that makes the fan noisier, not to mention the fact that the fan gets caked in dust over time. So as it works over time, it gets louder, it might burn out faster. And all of this to say, I hope I've painted the picture for you, maintenance really is key. Now, if you are comfortable doing this type of maintenance on your own, of course, you've gotta make sure that you kill the power, whether that's going to your circuit breaker or unplugging your fan, make sure that you understand how it works before you do any of this stuff. But you can actually clean the inside or the interior of your fan, uh, and you can even take a screwdriver and tighten up some of those loose screws. That's gonna help your fan stay in place and also make less rattling sounds. If you notice that your fan is still noisy, another kind of simple thing you can do is get some foam backed tape and put it around the interior fitting of your fan exhaust cover. That is going to provide a bit of a buffer or a damper to absorb some noise and shock so you don't get that annoying vibration. And then you'll probably feel more inclined to use your fan because it's not going to be noisy and annoying. You've made it and I owe you a number and that is how long you should let your fan run after you get out of the shower. So the tip is to actually start your fan before you get into the shower. That way it's working while you are showering. Following your shower, you should leave it on for up to 60 minutes or until you walk into your bathroom and it doesn't feel moist anymore. For me, that number is 60 minutes. In your house, in your climate, in your neck of the woods, it might be a little bit different. But my whole thing is the fan's on while I'm in the bathroom and I run it for 60 minutes after. 
uh, and I have an automatic timer, which makes a world of difference. So if you're replacing your fan or you're redoing your bathroom, definitely get a fan timer. Uh, it makes a difference. And I'd love to know in the comments down below, are you hardcore about using your bathroom fan? Does it drive you crazy if a roommate or someone else who lives in your home doesn't turn on the fan? Or do you not live that fan life? And you're just like, whatever, it's a bathroom. Let me know in the comments down below. If a bathroom fan is interesting to you, cleaning a bathtub is probably equally, if not more interesting. So you can check out our video on how to do just that. If you wanna support the Clean My Space channel, of course you can do so by subscribing. We would love that. And also you can check out Makers Clean where all of our premium microfiber cleaning tools are sold, makersclean.com. And I've got a link for you down below as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.